This is uh, this land collects our drinking water for us. It's called the Community Watershed. The road I'm walking on is about uh, 60 years old, 70 years old, something like that. <coughs> I first came along here about 33 years ago, I think, on a dirt bike. Coming up to the landslide, I've been doing uh, some uh, geotechnical research on this landslide. I've been doing this for, well, I've been photographing it for 10 years, at least. Although I saw it 30 some odd years ago, this large boulder here rolled down from up there a couple of years ago. Roll down to this point. If it does continue to roll, we'll go down there into Chapman Creek. Chapman Creek. Uh, which is our drinking water. So, that might happen. <coughs> There's another large boulder there. <coughs> it's come down the hill. Oh, we have some very fine material on the ground here. Very fine, silty material. bank up there. This road was dug here probably 65 years ago and uh, before before the road was cut you can see up the top of the bank the kind of vegetation up there. That vegetation mat holds the soil together uh, so for a very long time, thousands of years that vegetation mat held this fine soil where it was. But when they cut the road through, they exposed the fine soil and it started running down the hill <coughs> in this landslide or creep, you might call it a creeping soil. <coughs> Here I am at the landslide that I've been photographing for over 10 years and to my right, you can see it over there, there's the uh, tree with a piece of surveyor's tape on it. And I'll pan across to my left, and up a bit, that's about 50 meters across. The landslide is about 50 meters across. Now in this middle section here, uh, the ground vegetation is better than I've ever seen it. Uh, that's not to say it's going to stay that way because this has happened before and then then there's another slide and all the ground vegetation is uh, taken out again. There's some alder trees in there that are five or six years old. That's a good sign. They've been holding the soil that long. There's moss on the ground. Uh, the moss cover is is about 50 percent, 40, 30 percent, something like that in the middle there. That's a good thing. That moss holds the fine material and uh, now if we pan over to the left here, <clears throat> there's some new slide area over there. I've uh, taken some still photos of it. And so there's no moss in that soil over there, just through these trees, because it hasn't regrown since the, since the soil slipped down. Well, this can happen again at any time. This is why I say uh, the recovery time of this landslide, 
landslide could very well be 300 years. It's had 60 years now to recover, and it hasn't recovered. It's still uh, putting silt down the hill. Still silt runs down the hill from this area when it rains. The uh, silt, especially the finer materials, go down through the forest and into Chapman Creek and then uh, into our tap water. Again, up there you can see the old vegetation mat up there that used to hold the soil in place. Down this way you can see the trail and some of the big boulders that have rolled down recently. You can probably hear the creek in the background. A lot of mosquitoes out today too. <laughs> 